We just got a call from the police regarding a dog who was found in an apartment with his deceased owner. It looks like they were alone in that apartment for about five, six days. Tyson is clearly mourning. He's terrified. He won't interact with us at all. He's refusing to leave the crate. He's refusing to eat. Well, we're not going to give up on him. Honey Paws Rescue is going to take this dog into our foster care program. Come on, baby. Once Tyson saw we aren't interested in hurting him, he actually was pretty happy to go outside. It wasn't a struggle at all, but he's limping on one of the back legs. And he's not interested really in interacting with us or meeting us. We are taking Tyson to the vet emergency group. The doctor did determine that he is definitely underweight. The x-rays are showing his paw is fine. So physically, it seems that he will make a full recovery, but emotionally, you know, it's still going to be up in the air. Somewhere out there, we're hopeful that Tyson does have extended family. We're very open to reuniting him with the people that knew him the most. If they're able to, uh, we will definitely continue to get him rehabbed and then find him an adoptive home. That's the goal. It's been about two months that Tyson has been at his foster home. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. Kisses. He is definitely coming out of his shell. We eliminated the crate and we got a, a gigantic dog bed and he loves that dog bed. Tyson is starting to play with other dogs. We found that he likes the water and got him a kitty swimming pool where he just stands in there and enjoys to soak up the sun and get his paws wet. He's definitely starting to trust us more. Yeah, that's so sweet. We've been sharing his story on social media and we received a message from two family members of the original owner. Unfortunately, they're unable to reunite with him, but there's someone out there for Tyson that's gonna love him, you know, just let him romp around and be the pony that he is. We just got an email from a woman named Sarah who's following Tyson's story. We told her all about his history and she is completely unfazed by it. And we're gonna go ahead and move forward with everything. We can't wait for the adoption day. We're really excited. Today's the big day where Tyson gets to meet Sarah. Tyson's gonna have a new mommy. We're going to your forever home. Yeah. I think when Tyson first meets Sarah, he'll be a little shy and reserved. My heart is racing. It's like a bunny date. <laughs> I just really hope it works and they both swipe in the right way. Hi! 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 Hello! Hi, buddy! It's really just beautiful for him to just go up and approach this person that he's never met. well for them but when they initially hit it off like this it's just such a beautiful feeling. Tyson is the epitome of Mr. Cool. I got a toy for him. He always kind of like oh, I'm too cool for that. So when Sarah brought out the sheep. He got you something extra soft. And he dove right for it. He heard the squeaker. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little jealous but that's okay because that just means if he was meant to be for her. This is making a lot of people jealous right now that really wanted to win him over. It's funny because I have all this love in your heart for a dog. You never totally feel prepared. And suddenly now I'm like, I can do this. Like, we can do this. Come on, let's go. Come on, bud. He's like, really this time? Yeah, <laughs> buddy. I will definitely miss Tyson. But, you know, I'm happy that he's going on somewhere special. I'm excited to welcome him into my life and just watch him get more comfortable and realize that, you know, this is my final stop. This is where I live now. This is home. Bye. Are you excited to go home? Yeah. Your first smell? Oh, you got a friend? <laughs> Do you want to go upstairs, Tyson? 
our first steps into the apartment. Now we are officially home. We are wrapping up Tyson's first day in his forever home. And now that he's in the apartment, it seems like he's settling down really nicely. He really loves his bed and fuzzy blanket. He's very, very sweet. So I'm most excited to just see over time how he realizes that he's safe and at home and that he's really loved and cared for. This is forever for him now and I'm just really excited for him to get to spend it with me.